again this is the time for another recap through this recap we shall be attempting to assess efficacy of the learning process so far we have done already one recap which was very interesting we are going to go for another short quiz to see if our understanding of islamic banking and finance is good now this is the question for this quiz islamic modes of financing are a islamic nominated contracts as used in their classical context b those banking products that are allowed by the regulator c based on modern application of the islamic nominated contracts d actually not islamic as they are used in different ways than their initial usage so i ask you once again to note down your answer to see if your answer is correct if your answer is correct i would be a happy man this means that you have been a very good learner you have learned with me whatever i have taught so far if your answer is wrong don't worry you by the end of this course you would be able to answer these questions provided that you beef up your efforts to learn islamic banking and finance especially islamic modes of finance agar aapki islamic modes of financing ki understanding strong ho jayegi then you would be able to understand the whole phenomenon of islamic banking and finance because this whole practice is based on islamic modes of finance so i hope that with the passage of time your interest in islamic modes of financing and through islamic modes of financing in islamic banking and finance would increase so coming back to the question islamic modes of financing are a b c d last time i clicked on a and that was our correct answer i would like to click once again on a to see whether this is the correct answer so islamic modes of financing are a islamic nominated contracts as used in their classical context i might be wrong i might be right let's see actually this is wrong why because islamic nominated contracts are not used by islamic banks and financial institutions in exactly the same way as they were in use centuries ago we have seen quite a number of products murabha based products for example they are not just based on the murabha contract rather there are so many other arrangements wrapped around murabha to make it an islamic mode of financing okay a major difference between islamic modes of finance between uh, and islamic nominated contracts is that one is a composite structure i e islamic modes of financing are actually composite structures i e they involve a lot of other contracts and arrangements for them to be a suitable candidate for structuring of islamic financial products so unfortunately a is wrong let's see if b is right b is wrong as well because islamic modes of financing are not islamic banking products as such they are a very crucial component of islamic banking products but as such islamic modes of financing are not products for them to become products a lot of other things must be wrapped around as well c however is the right answer okay islamic modes of finance are actually 
modern applications of Islamic nominated contracts and they are a lot more than the contracts themselves. There are so many things structured around them. And if C is the right answer, then of course D is wrong as well because there could be only one right answer. In this case, this is C. Now D says, oh, Islamic uh, modes of financing are not truly Islamic because they are not used in their classical uh, context. This is a very conservative approach taken by some people. Actually, this is the demand of the modern world to use Islamic nominated contracts in an innovative way so that they fulfill the needs of Muslims and others in the contemporary world. So I hope this quiz was useful to enhance your understanding of Islamic modes of finance.